Remember, this is the triangle of disease. We're just reversing the triangle of disease. You stabilize the blood sugar. How do you stabilize the blood sugar? And this is for all diseases. This is for all autoimmune diseases. This is for cancer. This is for heart disease. This is for acne. This is for Parkinson's. This is for everything. You work on the gut, the probiotics, the fermented foods. You patch the gut up, the Z radical. Uh, 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 digestive enzymes, apple cider vinegar after meals, glutamine, there's a zillion things. Focus on the gut, make the uh, fermented foods, intermittent fasting, etc. Then you move to the blood sugar system. A blood sugar system, you, it's, you're going to do a lot of good for the blood sugar system by intermittent fasting. You're going to do a lot of good for the blood sugar by restricting calories. By the way, what does the word calories mean? What is it measuring? Does anybody know? Energy. Say it loud, I heard somebody say it. Energy. Not energy, type energy. Somebody's over here saying it. Say it louder. Come on. Heat. It's heat. Body doesn't like heat. Body likes cool. Cool. Always wants to be nice and cool. That's why if you're uh, if you have a traumatic injury, one of the first things they'll do is they'll cool your body down. They'll even use the if it's a really, really bad injury, especially to your brain, they'll put it on ice, essentially. Body wants to be cool. Doesn't want to be hot. Calories represent heat. They represent danger to the body. Body has developed a system for controlling that. Doesn't like sugar. Throughout history, we did not have sugar. This is a very recent phenomenon, sugar. In fact, sugar was only for kings not too long ago. Today, I notice, I haven't bought one of those big bags of sugar in a long time, but I notice that the price of sugar hasn't changed since when I was a kid. What else, what else do you know whose price hasn't changed since you were a kid? Why do you suppose, it's salt too, that's right. Why do you suppose sugar it has not changed? Because the people gotta have the sugar. You ever see the rats on the opium thing, on the little rat paddle? Sugar's hardwired in our bodies. We can't resist sugar. We're not supposed to be able to resist sugar. But we don't need a lot of sugar. We just need a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. So keeping your sugar stable is very important because sugar represents calories. Calories represent heat. Sugar is fire. You ever see what happens to a marshmallow when you stick it in the fire? Poof. Right? It doesn't burn slowly. It burns fast. Sugar is explosive. I remember a few years ago there was a fire in the sugar factory. I think it might have been in Texas. Either Texas or Georgia. Are there sugar factories out here? There's a lot of sugar factories. It might, been, it might have been Georgia. Sugar factory in Georgia. It took them four days to put the fire out. They had to have a fire department from all these different uh, municipalities come to put this one fire out at the sugar factory because sugar is hot. You ever get a sugar burn? You know, if you're cooking or baking, sugar burns. It burns hot and it burns the blood and it burns the blood vessels. It burns the blood vessels. Do you guys hear this? If we have a condition where 100 million or more Americans are dealing with dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar, you can immediately, immediately connect that to a messed up circulation system. Because the sugar burns everything, including the blood vessels. Yes. Yes. This is what cardiovascular, this is the root of cardiovascular, this is the root of all disease. This is just an interesting mechanism for cardiovascular disease. Any case, the body has a mechanism for controlling that sugar. It has a fire department. It has to. The sugar is so toxic, so, so fiery, and so burning. And the body doesn't know what to do with all that sugar either because we never had sugar throughout history. It's only the last 100 years, 200 years that we've really figured out how to extract sugar. Any case, the body has a fire department. That fire department has the, it has millions, billions, trillions of little fire, fireman molecules called insulin. Insulin is the fire department. But the problem is, insulin moonlights. It does a lot of things. It's not just the fire department. It also makes things grow. It also encourages storage of things. It makes cells divide rapidly. It tells the body to amp up things. Sugar is energy, so if the body sees all that sugar, it figures that we've got to amp things up. So insulin comes to the rescue and starts processing the sugar. The problem is, is along with processing sugar, it makes cells divide like crazy. And if you don't have enough nutrition because you've got a break, broken down digestive system and now cells are dividing like crazy, eventually cells get tired, they get pooped, and they get freaked out. And this can happen throughout your body. It can happen in your joints. It can cause inflammation in the joints. It can happen in the kidneys. And it can cause kidney disease. These are all insulin sugar reactions. It can cause problems in, in the blood vessels. It can cause uh, blood vessels to open and close inappropriately, hypertension. In fact, there's a whole series of issues that happen once your insulin is off and your blood sugar is off. And doctors have the nerve to call it metabolic syndrome. Anybody hear this term? Metabolic syndrome? Metabolic syndrome is basically when everything goes wrong. 
Everything happens following messed up blood sugar. It all is it, it all secondary, so you stabilize the blood sugar. And guess what? How easy is this to do? I was just going to say, how simple is this to do? But it's not easy. Because we have a hardwired drive for sugar. So what you do is you preempt that hard drive, that hardwired drive for sugar with protein. Pro the body can use protein in a slow burning way to allow it to do what it needs to do without sugar. And the more protein you eat, the less likely you're going to be to eat sugar. And one of the first things you want to do if you're trying to get off the sugar, the sugar bandwagon is up your protein intake, especially something called glutamine, which is a powder, and you'll find that in high protein foods like whey and egg. And also something called BCAAs, branch chain amino acids, which again you'll find high concentrations in protein. So you go protein. And you throw in lots of salt, and you throw in lots of oil, and you throw in lots of braised veggies. And between all of that, you begin to lower your blood sugar. 